Hey everyone, welcome back to Walt and Sarah's channel. Today I'm going to show you a little embroidery hack using Hatch 3. On the left, you will see the option of auto digitize. You're going to open up your artwork and bring it in where it says insert artwork. Next, you are going to select your artwork, then size it to the size that you need. I am using six inches for my little St. Patty's Day hat. Keeping this super simple and easy, we're going to go to auto digitize embroidery. So we don't have to worry about perfecting our digitizing skills. We're going to let the system do it for us. Now I'm also going to make sure that each object says fill and we can always change it later on if it doesn't, but it's easier just to do it right from the gate here. Next, we're going to go down to edit objects and we need to get the sequence menu up. What I need you to do is delete the clip art in the background because we don't want it to affect what we're looking at. We don't want to see that solid fill behind our stitched embroidery project. Once that clip art is gone by hitting the delete button on your keyboard, we're going to go to digitize. Now we're not actually digitizing because the system already auto digitized for us, but rather we're just kind of correcting the stitches because we want to get that sketched look. So we want to make sure we don't have satin stitch. We want to make sure we have the correct stitch type marked, but then we're going to scroll down to spacing. You got to make sure you hit the spacing as you can see in the red circle and you want to adjust it whether you have metric or the American measurements of inches you're going to want to adjust it so I have the measurements up on the screen and you can also play around if you want it to be filled in more or less just adjust that number but then we also need to go under stitching and adjust the angle so you want to use either 0 or 90 depending if you want that horizontal or vertical look. I personally prefer the horizontal look, the left to right. It kind of reminds me of reading, so I do like the straight line from left to right, so it's up to you. It's your preference, but just play around with the angles until you find one that you like. Now I'm going to show you how to do this one more time. We're going to do it on the little clover here that is on the hat. We're going to go up. We're going to make sure we have the correct stitch type selected, which we do, and then we're going to change the spacing once again and then we're going to go up to stitching and correct the angle. The other thing I forgot to mention is you do want to make sure the travel on edge is selected. That needs to be selected so that way you do have that nice fulfilled outline of your item. It really helps people recognize what you're trying to create. The next trick I'm going to show you is how to change the stitch type and the spacing on more than one element. So as you can see, I selected three different elements plus the two little tiny ones that are in there inside the buckle. And I'm going to do the same exact steps, but this time I have more than one piece selected. And we got really lucky that this was such a simple clip art that it was able to change all of these pieces and it turned out so stinking good. Now, if you look at the black strip there around the hat, you see an extra line on the right. We don't need that there. And the reason it's there is because we did the auto digitizing instead of doing it ourselves. So because we took the lazy route, we do have some extra stitches. They're super easy to get rid of. We're going to go to sequence. We're going to click on those. You can tell what they look like in this one. They're like lines. They're kind of thick lines and thin lines. We're going to click on them, delete them, and then kind of see, make sure no important elements were deleted. And full disclosure, I am super new to Hatch. I did the trial before. This is my first time really diving into it. And I just want to do a shout out. There was a Facebook group out there and they were so helpful. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even have known how to do the stitch sketch effect. So I'm so thankful. Big shout out to that Facebook group and all the wonderful people in there that aren't afraid to give you some advice and really help you out. They really want to help you succeed. Now this I'm just showing you our PNG version of the stitch file that we created. And this is in silhouette and I'm just changing the different colors so you can kind of see the different backgrounds. So super easy guys, super fun to mess around with. I'm so excited to do more complex images. This is so cool. But thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate every single one of you for checking out our videos, hitting that like button and the subscribe button. 
So thank you again. I appreciate you all and we will catch you next time. Bye.